Doesn't matter what they say, I think you're all right. Welcome back everyone. Today we are not going to France because I feel really cold and I need some sun. So we're traveling to Mexico and we are going to make a recipe of a shoe paste, but a little bit different, you'll see soon. It's called churros. It's delicious on its own or with some dulce de leche or some hot chocolate from Mexico. Two things are meant to be done for us to get cooking and for you to subscribe. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna start by grabbing a small saucepan and in that saucepan, we are going to pour some water as well as butter, sugar, and salt. We'll then place that on the heat and we're gonna let it be until it's simmering. Then we'll add the flour and using a spatula, we're gonna start working the pat a choux until you have something that's somewhat dry and that is fully combined together. Then you'll cut the heat and we're gonna move it on to our mixer. With the paddle attachment, you can also do that by hand, no problem. What we're looking for here is just to let it go until it's completely cold. Okay, so we're gonna cool it down. Then we're gonna add the vanilla and we'll add our egg. Um, you could add one egg at first and maybe if it's still a bit stiff, add another one. Once the dough is ready, I'm going to simply take it off the mixer and I'm gonna transfer it into a piping bag. And not just a piping bag solo, we're gonna add a piping tip. You could use any one that is looking like a star, okay? Because you want to rivet on the side of the churros, which actually will cut uh, the sugar as well as any type of sauce you will add it with. Then we'll place the dough inside the bag. All right, now I'm going to fill up a pot with some oil. You can use any oil and I'm gonna fry them. Obviously, when I say any type, obviously something that has um, a high tolerance to heat. In the meantime, I'm going to make some sugar with some vanilla powder and some cinnamon, and we're gonna whisk that all together and we'll be using that to coat our churros when they're cooked. Speaking of, I'm gonna take my piping bag and I'm gonna start pushing my churros, they're about four or five inches long. I'm gonna cut them with the scissors and we're gonna cook them on both sides until they are nice and crispy. We'll repeat the process with them all and we'll make sure we put them on absorbing paper so they don't have any excess fat. Once they are out of the oil and on the paper, I'm gonna roll them into my cinnamon sugar, give them a nice shake and we'll repeat the process with every single one of them. I will then start plating. So for this dish, I'm using a terracotta that I filled up with some beans. I did some paper cones and I'm gonna stuff the churros in them and I'm gonna serve it with some chocolate hazelnut paste. And here we have it, a simple, delicious recipe coming all the way from Mexico, not from France, the churros. Best served with some hot chocolate or some juice of the leche. If you make them your own, you can have them as this. If you enjoyed this recipe, please like, comment, and subscribe. The recipe will be in the description below. As always, I'm going to try them so you know what's next. I will see you on the next episode.